So I'm delighted to tell you about our study on people's understandings of cellulitis and their views about how best to re prevent recurrent cellulitis. Um, this is Emma Teasdale, lead author, and myself, Miriam Santa. Why did we do this study? Well, most BJD readers will know that cellulitis is an acute, painful, and potentially serious bacterial infection of the skin and underlying tissue. And it can cause morbidity of several weeks, but importantly, about a third of people with cellulitis get recurrent episodes, um, which causes a huge impact on quality of life. At the moment, the only treatment shown to reduce the risk of recurrence is long-term low-dose penicillin. Um, we wanted to explore people's willingness to adopt other potential methods of preventing long-term episodes, um, really to inform potential future trials. And we were interested in the, the non-evidence-based but frequently recommended measures such as enhanced foot hygiene, applying emollients to the feet, compression garments, and lifestyle changes like weight loss and exercise. How did we do it? Well, we recruited adults with a history of cellulitis through primary care, secondary care, and community advertising. Full details are in the paper, obviously. We did a questionnaire survey, we did qualitative interviews, and triangulated the findings. So, attitudes in the survey ranged from very popular, washing and drying feet, to less popular, taking antibiotics every day. And this was associated with people's history regarding um, frequency of episodes. Um, more details in the paper, obviously. Um, qualitative findings were very interesting. A lot of people were not aware or said they hadn't been informed about the risk of recurrence. Some of them said they didn't really even know what cellulitis was. Um, enhanced skincare foot hygiene was something that they, a lot of people thought that they were doing already um, and it's seen as very common sense. But on closer questioning, people were sometimes a bit haphazard about how they were drying their feet. Um, compression garments, generally people had bad experiences or negative attitudes towards these and people were very cautious about the prospect of using oral antibiotics in the long term. So although there's not much evidence base for preventative practice other than long term antibiotics, people are still very keen to know more about it, um, particularly as they felt cautious about using long term antibiotics. And um, enhanced skin care, foot hygiene, exercise may all be acceptable prevention strategies but we feel further research is needed to explore the uptake of these and effectiveness in practice.